Right, hi guys. Um, it's half past four in the morning, um, and I've been out to see my friend, um, who I smoke crack with. He's just gave me some cocaine to wash up. And normally, I'm not that bad. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this one. Um, I mean, I don't. Oh God, I don't even know where that bit's gone. Let's have a look. Might dry out, okay. I don't know. It's just not. It's not washing up to anything. So, let's see. So, I put some new uh, videos on, as you saw. Um, uh, and my little rant for now is, I went to see uh, my friend. Um, and we were just looking crack. Um, basically, he just sits and really wanks while I, while I lick, you know, strange one. But he's a very, very, very good friend of mine and a very big drug dealer, so not going to mention any names whatsoever. Um, I met him while he was in prison, actually. Um, and I used to go and drive people to prison to uh, do throwovers and stuff like that. Sometimes. Um, never know if it's true or not what I'm saying, so I can't get done for anything. Um, and anyway, um, I spoke to him on the phone, and he sounded black. And back then, I loved black men. Um, so I thought, oh, of course I'll go and meet you. So it's come to the day where I've gone to meet him, drove to the prison. And back then, I looked like Jordan. I, I, did, I did. I looked beautiful. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, so I've gone into the... Um, the, the visiting room and I'm looking around for some black guy every black guy got a visitor thought oh, right fucking hell uh, and I seen this guy waving at me he was ginger and white but it was one of the best friends I've ever ever met it, it, it really he really is he really is I'm, I'm really glad I met him to be honest Um, I can remember once um, it was Christmas time and um, I went, I had a thigh high boots on, um, a long black coat, and uh, a Santa outfit. Yeah, and uh, I went to visit him. And unbeknown, he thought it was off clones visits, uh, but it wasn't. Um, so we, uh, it was on clone visits. So we kind of nearly, very nearly, got caught uh, playing with ourselves on close visits but uh, but yes it was an experience a real experience um, I mean nothing normal nothing normal really happens to me um, I once went to school off somebody um, in Gleaglis um, and I had to walk down to the basketball courts um, now normally you know nice summer afternoon um, no issues, no qualms. Not me. Oh no, not me. I walk down this little back whack where these bungalows are and I get roped in to an old man. Hold on, let me uh, make sure that doesn't fall because I've just dropped some. Um, an old man trying to catch his cockerel. And I don't mean a cock, I mean a cockerel. I, I'm only going to score heroin. Um, I love scrapping. You know, I get all the scrap. You know, I've got to score and come back with a fucking boiler. You know, that's probably the, one of the most... Because I always say, I, I absolutely admire anybody who's got a normal job. I, I do. I really do. Um, I couldn't do one. I, I, I couldn't do it. Um, I would... Go to work all week, I'd go to my bank account, I'd draw out my wages, and I'd cry, and I'd think, wow, I could earn that in a day. And that's what prostitution does to you. Um, I want, I do want to kind of touch upon this subject, really, because um, it's not just about stopping somebody taking drugs um, that I also want to do. Um, I also want to hopefully maybe show prostitution in a different light. Um, it's not all glamorous, 
Um, we, we're not high class escorts anymore. I have an argument with somebody all the time about it. He lives across the way from me. Um, and he actually believes um, <laughs> that this agency in is a man um, that they're going to get in jobs. He's got to pay a fee. So you know that's enough, enough anyway. Uh, and he believes that escorts get took out for dinner. Um, you get paid hundreds of pounds for it. And you also charge extra for sex. Now I can assure you, <laughs> an escort goes straight to your home or your hotel room. You get the job done and, and you're gone, you know. There's no whining and dining anymore. I'm not saying there isn't in, 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 in London. Um... But it's few and far between still over there, you know. Um, I mean, it is industrial drug addicts who work as prostitutes. I, I used to own my own massage parlour. Um, and I've worked all over. I've worked in Leicester. I've worked, honestly, everywhere. Leicester, Leeds, Manchester, Dewsbury, uh, Sheffield, everywhere. Derby, that's in where I ended up with my own massage parlour, actually. Um... And I've worked with people who are studying law at university and need to fund it. Now, what prostitution does, it creates a lot of money for you. And you can do very good things with it. Don't get me wrong, you know. Um, when, like I said, I have mentioned before, even when I live normal with, as a family network, um, I always did prostitution. Um, and it paid for, you know, two cars, a nice house, both my, you know, clothing, the best of everything, really. Um, but it gives you no respect for money. You don't have any respect for money. Um, and you'll never stop. You will never, ever, ever stop doing it. You might take breaks, as I have. I, I, I have. But you'll always go back to it. For the simple fact you know, you can get money like that. Um, you know, whether it's to save your house, whether you know, whether your car's been repossessed or anything. You need to you need to pay somebody very quickly. You know that prostitution's gonna do that for you. Um and you'll never get out of it. You never will. So my advice is to somebody, don't do it. Do not do it. And I can honestly say if you're not a strong-minded person, and I mean a very strong-minded person, and you can sort of be somebody else while you're in that room with that man, you'll not cope with it. You you won't. You won't. Um, you know, I think that's why, well, I know that's why most girls um, kind of work under a different name. Um, it, it isn't to sort of hide your identity. Um, I think it, that was one of the reasons years ago, um, but now it's all internet, isn't it? And, you know, you have to have your pictures on there. So no matter if you're called Chelsea, you still look like Victoria, you know. Um, so my advice is not to do it. Try and find something else. Um, but it's such a big business, isn't it? I mean, there's there's websites out there, dating websites, sugardaddy.com, you know. It, 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 people have made so much money off the sex industry, haven't they? Yeah. I mean, I, what makes me laugh is um, you get done for tax evasion if you don't pay tax, um, you know. And you can also get done for living off of moral earnings. Now, I used to pay tax uh, when I had my massage parlour. But why does a tax man not get done for living off of moral earnings? Because my tax was from immoral earnings. Push your circles up. One to think about. Definitely one to think about. Um, the, I also think porn. I think porn should be banned, to be honest, while we're talking about sex on this video. Um, I think it's too easy accessible, um, especially to two younger people. And, and, and what I mean by that is you've got your little your little plastic wannabe gangsters, you know, your little young lads who sort of wanna wanna shot drugs. Um they've got the little man bags and they've got the you know, 
the hair all braided and they look cool and they, they've got the swagger, you know, road man and that. Um, and all these little girls with the, well, about 15 and upwards, maybe even a little uh, younger now, you know, all want to be with these road men because uh, they think they're cool and they sell drugs and they're mixed race and they're great. And them lads, they watch porn and they see a woman getting her head banged down onto his dick, suck it, bitch, pulling her hair, you know, choking her while she's coming, um, you know, take it, take it, bitch, and, and that sort of thing. And then these these normal girls get together with these guys at the weekend and they're all sniffing and they're all drinking. And these girls, they the subject gets brought up and the girls kind of agree to it. They, they, they're like, oh, yeah, I'd like that. And, oh, yeah, you know, they're little girls. They're not big women. Um, and then they go into a room with, with the guy um, willingly. And then the guy will start fucking them like they do what the lad's seen on, on porn. And the girl in the other room has just said that that's fine. You know, yeah, I'd love that. Love you to pull my hair. Let me take my extensions out, you know. I mean, that's how I like sex in my private life. But I'm a big woman. I'm a big woman. Um, so obviously, the, guy, the you know, the young lad's having sex with this girl. She says no. Well, no means yes, doesn't it, in that sort of environment, if you're doing that sort of sex. Um, and then that poor lad, he's on the sex offenders register, isn't he? He's getting done, for, you know, for rape. And it's such a fine line, such a fine line. And I've worked in porn. When I say I've worked in porn, I, I only did porn magazines. I sent my picture off as a reader's wife, as a reader's girlfriend back then when you could do that. Um, and I ended up being like centrefold and stuff like that for Club Razzle and Barely Legal. Um, again, I, I was just, you know, photographed on my own open legs, that sort of thing. Um, but I've seen porn made and... I see the relief on the women's faces when they come. You know, I I do, I do. It's 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 not nice. And to be honest with you, there's not no money in it. Not really. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> not really. Not unless you get sort of noticed and employed by like a a bend over production um, film. Um, who produced quite high, you know, higher up porn. Um, but it's sad to see. It is sad to see. Um, I've seen a lot, a lot in life. I mean, I'm joining on now. My videos are lasting a little bit longer each time, and I do apologise. Um, you know. So anyway, that's my little rant. Um, if you want me to talk about something or ask me my opinion on something, please comment. Please comment if you want to ask me anything about my life. Just comment and, and and I will answer you. I will answer you totally honestly. You know, I'll mention a few things. I had a millionaire sugar daddy. I've got two children who don't live with me. I'm dying. Um, I've been to prison for drink driving and assault. Um, endless things, endless things. Um, I've had a very good life. Um, I ha You know, I've had... I've been right up here and I'm rock bottom now. You want to know anything, please, please, please just put on the comments. I'll read them and on my next video, I promise you I will answer them. Good night.